Hello everyone and welcome back to Create Skyblock. There are a few things that I do have to inform you about. And the first thing is the world. If you notice, it is different from last time. That's because the last world that I was planning on got corrupted. Fortunately, that was just in Episode 1 where I didn't do too much. And I just worked up to the point of Episode 1. So you're not missing anything. Don't worry. And right now... We're just going to continue from where we left off. Okay. Now, in the previous episode, I actually got a comment saying that I could put hoppers underneath these and then feed them into a chest. So we will make that right now. Okay, here are the hoppers and the chests. Let's put these on here and see what happens. Okay, let me just get rid of these wooden bar things. Okay. Let's see, let's put down the chest. I think that will help out. Okay. Let's just put these on here. And, uh, let's see. Oh, it works! Amazing! Wow! Thank you for the comment in the comment section. Now I got plenty of dirt and other resources I may need. Let's see how we're doing on durability. We're doing okay. So we're going to look at our advancement list and see what we have to do next here. Okay. Create Skyblock. Okay. So we have a few options here. We can go on an expedition to visit the eight biome islands, or one or the other, whichever would be useful. Animal husbandry achievements. Want to have some eggs? With the eggs, you can right-click spawners or naturally spawn the mobs. Okay, that sounds different. Let's look at what it's up here. Stone machine frame. For some machines, you need stone machine frames. Okay. Okay, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make lots of flint axes. So if I ever need wood, I'll be okay with that. Then after we do that, I'm going to figure out the first steps how to make this stone machine frame thing. Okay. And just by the way, when you're mining a lot of blocks, or even when you're mining trees, or anything where you have to mine a lot, what you can do, if you're playing on this map pack, is that there's a little squiggly button beside the number 1 that you can press. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in the last episode. Just press that, and it'll outline the whole thing. And there you go. So now we're going to see how to make the stone machine frame. Okay. Stone machine frame. Cool. So it takes smooth stone, some glass, piece of iron. Okay, let's see. Let's see this smooth stone recipe here. So that costs stone. Here's I'm going to have to smelt cobblestone. Okay. Let's get some more stone pebbles. Just a few more, I believe. Do, 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 do. Okay, more stone pebbles. Fantastic. Now we're going to do this. Then throw them in the furnace. And then do that. And in the meantime, I'll chop down some trees. Because I'm definitely going to need more wood. Yay. Yay. And a nifty little trick to help you grow the trees is that you can repeatedly shift to grow them. And another thing that I found out works, if you run by the trees, it also grows them as well, and it seems to grow them a lot faster. And it's a lot easier than repeatedly pressing shift. Okay, there we go. Easy way to get wood, man. Okay. 
Now let's see if that stone is done. Yes, it is. Spelt stone now. And now I need to get some more sand. Uh, what was the recipe for sand? Sand was you have to drop some dirt into water. Fortunately, I have some dirt right here, so we just need to get four of that. There we go. Let's see if our furnace is done. No. Uh, let's just make another furnace just to speed things up a little bit. Another furnace. Wow. Okay. Now we're going to put our sand to one, two, three, four. Let's put some uh, wood can't burn wooden bars. No. Okay. Let's put our oak slabs in there. Let's take our wood. Now we need to make a pick to be able to mine that iron. And flint tools count as stone tools, so we should be able to mine it with a flint pickaxe. So let's see what the recipe for that is. Flint pickaxe. Now we have the recipe for the flint pickaxe. Let us... So we only got one piece of flint, so one sec. Let me... Find this gravel until we have enough flint. Now we have enough flint, let's make a flint pickaxe right now. Pretty sure it was two sticks, one piece of plant string, some flint shards, and there we go, a flint pickaxe. And now we can mine our first iron. Wow. Wow, okay. Let's cook up this iron right now. Do, do, do. And iron is really valuable because I can't currently make any more. It's all the iron I have is whatever is on this island, which I'm pretty sure is just a few pieces. So until we're able to make more iron, this is probably all I'm gonna make right now. Machine frame. Wow. Okay. Let's see what's in the loot bag, people. Let's see what's in the loot bag. This isn't even that extreme or exciting, but whatever. Okay. We have the assembly halo. What? Uh, what? <laughs> okay. And by the way, I, I'm, I'm playing with you guys here, so... Uh, all this stuff is new to me. I haven't gone ahead at this point. Let us look and see what the next thing we need is. Crusher, to become obsidian, you need also the crusher. Alloy smelter, with this basic alloy smelter, you can make now lava, okay. Hot, you need lava to set up a cool cobble generator with useful ores. Okay, let's make the Coal generator, if we can. Coal generator. That takes copper. Okay, I'm pretty sure it involves these strainer bases. So let's see. Strainer base. Solid survivalist strainer. Never mind, of course we can get iron from this survivalist trainer. How convenient. Nice. Let's make the solid survivalist trainer. So we need to make some iron bars. So let's make some iron bars. Whoops. <laughs> uh, I know how to play Minecraft, I promise. You can only make two iron. Okay, that's not super great. So in the meantime, while we're getting resources there, hopefully we can do something else to speed up our iron production. Aha! Here we go. I finally found it! Okay, so the solid survivalist strainer makes copper and tin, which is what we need to be able to make the Crusher 
and the alloy smelter and the coal generator. So all of these machines require copper and tin. And right now we're waiting to be able to make a solid survivalist drainer. So in the meantime, I'm probably just going to make more of these since they're pretty easy to make the strainer bases and just connect them to this mechanism probably at this side. And so we're able to pump out some more iron and then once we're able to do that, then we can continue on. I'll meet back with you when we get to that point. Okay, we're back and the first thing I want to show you is the little strainer base that I've been working on here. So I decided to make better use of my time by making a ton of these. So if I ever need more iron in the future, I'll have plenty of it. And I won't have to worry about it. And of course, I now have the resources to make a solid survivalist strainer. So let's make that. Let's get our iron mesh, which was made with the iron bars. And then four iron nuggets or ingots sorry okay now we have the solid survivalist strainer now let's see if we can't get some of the resources we need so let's take this out and then put the solid survivalist strainer in okay let's see is it working no problems detected okay now we just gotta wait until that does its thing. In the meantime, we can make the other resources we need for the coal generator, crusher, all of these different things. Oh no! We're getting attacked! We're getting attacked! Oh no! See, does our knife, will our knife do better? Mm, this is really not good. This might take a while, because I have really poor tools. Poor tools! I'm kind of not concerned about dying right now, because... I'll just spawn right back on the island. But I really don't want to die. Just, there's creatures attacking me, I can't do anything, because I don't have anything! Killed it! And the little buddy got me, got me in the back. Okay, come on. Come here, man. I gotta get ya. I gotta get ya. And I died. <laughs> no! <laughs> Sorry about that. I had some technical difficulties when I died. I couldn't respond for some reason. Whoopsies! <laughs> okay, let's continue on here. Let's make the... Let's see if I have the right crafting recipe for the... Nope, that's wrong. Uh, of course it is. One sec. For the... I think this is the alloy smelter. Yeah, we finally made it, guys! The alloy smelter! Wow! We... Amazing. Cool. Let's see if we have enough iron to make the coal generator. Okay. All right. Doing this wrong again. <laughs> what am I doing? Ah! Ah, yes, we have enough to make the coal generator. Awesome. Okay, we're making the coal generator. Let's go. Two copper, three iron, one refined ingot, one stone machine frame, two cobblestone, and now we have the coal generator. Wowie! Yay! Let's see how these machines work. Okay, so it seems like we need some fuel, so let's make some charcoal for the coal generator, since we're not generating any power. And then for the alloy smelter, we need to put copper and tin inside of it. Oh man, it's going! It's going! What is it gonna make? It's not like I already said it, it's gonna be bronze! 
And bronze is what we need to make the next thing. Come on. Come on. Yeah. We have four bronze. Amazing. Let's see. Let's make the last thing that we need. The crusher to be able to crush stuff. Unfortunately, that's all the time that we have for today. I know. I know. But. We're going to continue in the next episode with the aluminum and the crusher and all of that wonderful goodness. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.